ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Zeratar here, and we've been doing a little bit since we last were, well, since we left off, so we still have our lovely trains going here. Now we did overload this railway just a little bit, I will say. Uh, we are not running full trains of cargo. We're pretty close, but we're not running full trains. But hey, that's all right. So we have four trains on the ore track and three trains on the coal track. We have two trains running back and forth on the steel track. We have one singular train running back and forth on this uh, machine track. And that is running all the way over here to Fort Worth. And pulling that, we have this lovely train here. Because we had to get at least some steam going, right? Look at that. So that is our, trying to remember what exactly that was. I believe that was the 282 Mikado running that. That looks right. It's either a 282 or it's a 442 Atlantic. Let's see if we can't zoom in here. That looks like a 282 to me. And he's going to pull in here, and let's see just how much he gets me when he pulls in. A cool $2.2 million. Now, why am I bringing this back at this particular time? Well, it is 1947. It is the year of our father. Well, my father, at least. Now, it is July 17th, not January 17th, but hey, I'll be honest, I forgot to pause the date at the right time, so that's entirely my fault. January 17th, of course, being my father's birthday. That's right, born on the same day as Ben Franklin. Probably why both of us are rather large history nerds. That and my father was a tour guide for many, many years in the wonderful city of Philadelphia, back before it earned its reputation as Philadelphia, as it is more properly known now throughout these United States. Now, not only do we have those lovely trains going, you saw some aircraft, and to fuel those aircraft, we have this tram line here grabbing up some people and ferrying them around this town. You can see our tram tracks coming around here, gathering people up from the biggest parts and dropping them off here at the airport terminal. And from this terminal, well, they come up in the air in fact, we can grab one of these aircraft. Maybe it'll show us. No, it's not going to show us. All right, there we go. So now this one goes all the way over here. And again, we have this time on this side, we have buses instead of trams. Ferrying our good people all around the city and over here to our airport where there are a lot of people waiting as well as our train station where we don't have quite as many people waiting but a train did just leave and that train of course is the zephyr running this way with 30 out of its maximum occupancy of 52 passengers this train i've laid down some high speed track this train is capable of doing somewhere in the vicinity of one hundred miles an hour which is pretty good because that town ain't exactly close to this one 
where again we have buses driving around town, grabbing up people, bringing them to the station, and look at that, we have 22 people just waiting for the Zephyr. Now, whether they're waiting for the Zephyr because, hey, who wouldn't be? Or if they just really, really want to get on a plane and fly their asses way down here to Fort Worth, who can say? Now, one thing I can say is I cannot wait until we get some bigger goddamned aircraft. Because these are the best planes we can currently buy. This is a, a Douglas DC-4. Runs a cool $3 million. Costs us just under $500,000 per year in maintenance fees. Now it says per year, but I think because I'm making the dates run or advance rather at quarter time uh that is actually closer to five hundred thousand per quarter but i could be mistaken uh in fact i guess i can just look at the finances uh three hundred and eighty six thousand four seventy one four seventy nine uh, vehicles do start to break down over time, by the way. You do want to uh, try and keep on top of that. But look at this. Our trains are bringing in about $10 million a quarter. Our planes are bringing in somewhere in the vicinity of $4 million a quarter. Uh, the only one that's not really doing that great is our water uh, we do have one singular boat. He's not even going very far. He's just going right from here, picking up some stone, taking it over here, dropping it off at this brick plant. And I don't think we've really gotten anything new. That, well, we got in one singular new thing that we could be using instead. And we could be doing this as a uh, as a ferry service. Look at that. A capacity of 150. My goodness, that would be lovely. And yes, we did name this line Be Stoned. Because it's a boat, it's carrying stone. Why not? That just seemed like a good idea. So we have trains, planes, boats, automobiles. Oh my goodness, it is lovely. We have this train. This train is making $2.6 million so far this quarter. Look at that. Just running so lovely. We have a lot of people here waiting. I really, really just need a bigger a uh, bigger plane not a bigger boat this ain't jaws it's like jaws but slightly different i do believe the next thing i want to tackle is getting some of this farmland going if i can grab a nice little cargo station drop it in here You just got to try and do this. There we go. Without breaking that field. And then we'll bring it over here. And we'll just try and drop it in right there. And then we're going to grab some high speed track. And we're going to run it straight over this way. We want to kind of go around the hilly part here. Seventy-seven miles an hour is a little low, but hey, it'll be all right. There we go. If 
from here we just need standard track. Standard track is a-okay. Too much curvature, too much curvature, there we go. Now then, we need, well, first and foremost, we need to set a line from there to there. Looks good. Now we did unlock, we unlocked the 4884 big boy. This train was, unless I am mistaken, exclusively run by the Union Pacific Railroad. And my God, this is my absolute all time favorite train. In fact, I suspect that uh, if you check the comments, there's probably going to be one from my fiance going, oh my God, he found a fucking big boy in his goddamn train game. Jesus Christ. Somebody save me. We also unlock the Santa Fe Alco PA. And, unless I'm mistaken, there's also one with a B unit. Which has a fuck ton of tractive effort if we wanted to be so bold as to drop that in. But all that tractive effort just can't hold a torch to my big boy. My goodness. Now, that said, you are paying for that big boy. But you know what? We've got the money. Let's fucking do it. Right? With 84 capacity, 21 million dollars well goddamn spent now what we're gonna do from there is we are going to make a truck unload stop he's gonna unload over here we're gonna make a street We are going to run this from here to here. There we are. So we have our truck on load stop. And then we need our truck station. We're going to put the truck station on this side. We're going to configure our truck station with some extra stuff here. Good, good, good. Now, why that has tram track, I don't really know, nor do I much care at the moment. The important part is that this has a shitload of storage. We are going to need a line from here out to here. There we are. And from there, we are going to need a road depot. How are we looking here? This is slowly building up. That's slowly starting to ramp up there. Look at this thing. It is goddamn majestic. Why do I play these games pretty much for views like this? Look at that thing. That thing is goddamn beautiful. I mean, it's not hauling, you know, a hundred cars, but it's doing pretty good. Now, the problem is, is that these cars have a speed limit of 50 miles an hour. 
So no matter how fast my engine is, it cannot exceed 50 miles an hour. That's a little upsetting. But hey, it's all right. We're going to buy some trucks that can haul some grain. Not grain, bread. We need bread trucks. These will work. We're going to grab those and we're going to slap all of those onto this line. Even though they're not quite, uh, this line isn't quite ready yet. Now it'll start producing what little itty bit that it can produce. We have one bread ready to go. And back on the other side here, well, we have quite a bit of grain. And this thing can haul quite a bit of grain. So I'll tell you what, let's boost this up and we are going to see if this train can turn a profit. I'm just gonna keep an eye on them. So we're going to load it up. We have a full load of grain. Which is good. That should theoretically mean that every time we come back, we can get a full load. Now this thing's running about a million six in the hole right now. million eight in the hole getting back about nine hundred thousand that's not too bad so I think if this had some extra cars on it in fact if we send this to the depot that's fine we'll wait for him to get past there and then we'll slap a couple extra cars on them. Now send the depot. There we go. He's heading for it. Uh, this thing. We want to edit this vehicle. We want some extra gondolas. 120 capacity. 520 feet, 521 feet long. Let's edit that and send it back out on its way. And we just need to get this farm producing more. Yeah, there goes our Zephyr in the distance. Anyone have any bread? You do. You have a little bit of bread. Drop some grain in here. So even with spending all that money and trying to keep up with the maintenance costs on the big boy, we're still turning a decent profit here. Our road networks are bringing in a lot of money, just ferrying people and some goods around. Oh, do tell. What, what is not looking good? Ooh, all of you 
are doing very poorly. Well, let's replace you. We just need something. I just need you guys, right? Yeah, let's replace them. And now they're all very good. How you guys doing? Well, then let's replace you. You were these things, right? Yeah. There we go. Now they're all very good. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're doing all right. You're doing good. You're bad, but you'll be fine. You'll all be fine. Good. This has some bread coming up. Good. There's enough for one full load for this truck. I am actually curious to see how much this truck makes with a full load. In between auto saves, of course. I'm gonna slow this down a little bit here. Mostly because I want to see if I'm going to run into any of our lovely trams or anything. And we are nearing the $150,000. That's not too shabby. Unload all of that right at the market. We actually did that pretty good. This way is that one of ours that is one of ours that's one of our lovely buses yeah don't be walking through the street like that genius This vehicle is seven years old. We have 120,000 feet of track. Cargo transport. We have transported, uh, let's call that almost 80,000. And they don't give me a type of that. I'm just going to say that's tons probably. We have 14 lines transporting seven different kinds of cargo. We have transported almost 400 people in the last 12 months. We've transported about three, a little over 3,000 tons of cargo in the past year. That's not too shabby. Just looking to see if we can get a view of the big boy coming in. I don't see any smoke on the horizon, which is unfortunate. Hey, there he is. Is he coming in with a full load? Yes, he is. How's that going to look for us? 1.342. Million dollars. We're going to unload and head back, and this is doing all right. We're actually producing 400 now instead of 200, so hopefully, this will be full up by the time we get back here. Oh, that should absolutely be full up by the time we get back. airport here has a lot of people waiting. The train station has a decent amount. Now I think something that we're going to want to do is bear with me here. We're going to want this, right? We don't want tram tracks. We're going to do this 
and we're going to do one of these. We're going to do one of these. We're going to configure this. We're going to bring in some extra platforms, some extra cargo buildings. Put in as many of those as we can put in. Good, good. We're gonna create a line from this one to this one. And at least it knows that that is a transfer. We're gonna do this. We're gonna grab some of these that can hold 16. Yeah, we want the one that can hold 16. I'm going to start with 10. I'm going to put them on there. Now line 6 should start to grab up some. No, you're not grabbing that up yet. Out of curiosity, are you, why are you not doing that? Is it because I need to actually put you down here? I mean, that's fine. I'll put you down here instead. Although it looks like you're already pretty much set. Yeah, you're set for that already. So that's fine. Why, why will you not give me stuff? We have trucks that can move it. Right? You can... You're one of these, you can move that. Is there a reason you just don't want to give me? Oh no, there it goes. Now you're giving it to me. Select all. And clone them. There we go. And then we're just going to start ferrying goods over to here. Where's our train at? There he is. Who actually has stuff? Not you. Is it you? Yeah, you actually have some stuff on you. $38,000. Not too shabby. Once we get these guys going back and forth a bit here. And we start building up our shipping. We'll be able to get a second Union Pacific Big Boy. And what a glorious day it will be. Now we just need this guy to start shipping more, and then we'll be all right. But in the meantime, it's already 140 here. This guy can hold 120.
I guess to set this up and get things ready for the next one, we're going to need to... Yeah. Just bring it from here, bring it out this way. Now I realize that these cars cannot handle the speeds that these tracks are designed for, and that is okay. Because eventually, I don't remember exactly how eventually, but eventually we will unlock freight cars that can handle going faster. And we do want to make sure that that's set. Oh, you go farther than I thought you do. Than I thought you did. Perfect. How's this guy doing? Oh, you are full the hell up. Oh this line at line four you there copy and then you there configure can I slap a large cargo building on here without breaking anything I can put one on seems to be the only large one I can fit I can fit some mediums. Alright, and how about some small ones? Nope, not really. Alright, so you're running with quite a bit. You're running with quite a bit. Let's just check this out and see how it looks. 1.3 million and then he heads off that way and then the second Union Pacific big boy comes right on in with another cool 1.3 million so we spent some money and we're slowly trying to claw that back How's this looking? This has enough for one right now. There goes our Zephyr. How's this looking down here? Wherever that is. There you are. You have three waiting. It's not enough. This is producing a decent amount. Our road vehicles are able to keep up with everything that we're producing. What's up, Mr. Big Boy? 1.3 million. Thank you very much. We are staying well over 100 million at the moment. It is entirely profit. We have no loan. So. Now we just need to keep an eye out for whatever's going on here. These trains aren't pulling full loads anymore, which is a little upsetting, but hey, what are you gonna do?
Look at all these trains going by though. My goodness. Looks pretty amazing. Now the next step I think is going to be to pull from this one and maybe these two. And we are going to try our best to just keep this going. And we can also pull coal from here if we really wanted to. Now Fort Worth also needs food. So if I were to slap, let's say, a cargo airport in up here near our uh, our bread supplier we might actually be able to actually it might be worth it to drop a truck stop right up here just for this and then we can have cargo airports or cargo planes leaving from here as well look at that guy is he gonna get a full load nope but that's all right a passenger service that's pulling five mils sometimes that's pretty awesome So ladies and gentlemen, this one did kind of uh, run a little bit longer than I had originally anticipated, but that's all right, you know, we've, uh, we've just been relaxing, enjoying ourselves, watching our lovely, lovely Union Pacific big boy in all its glory, just hanging out. Look at that guy. He's just so majestic. So I hope y'all are having fun with me on my little virtual train platform. And I will see everyone next time.